you doing back there? Got a... I don't know, I guess that woman is with them because she's not struggling or anything. But yeah, if you get close to these uh, women here, you can tell she's about the same height. So, it's kind of surprising. She seems like she's more or less in adulthood. Wow. Okay. That is a face. I'm moving on. So far, Alice is the only good-looking one in this town, and she's insane. Cheese. <laughs> wow, someone is uh, really obsessed over cheese. I'm not sure where they are, because it sounded like it was coming from right here, but I don't think this guy was talking, nor was this guy. Let's see here. Kuroski Potato Merchants, established 1862. I wonder what year it's supposed to be right now. What we got here? Something and Sons. Hello, puss. Puss, 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 puss. Don't be afraid. Okay, Alice, you're easily distracted. Alice obviously has contracted ADD since we last met her. I was I was trying to look up here, but okay. Lily, Lily Crepe or Lily Crap and Sons, Bacon. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not French enough for this. I'm sorry, but, uh... Yeah, that's not going to be pronounced very well by me. Well, it couldn't have been you two, because that's a woman, I think. Or... A hideous man. I'm not sure. One way or another, I don't think it was them talking about the cheese. I have no idea who was talking about the cheese. Hey, how's it going, little girl? Why are you I'll just you. standing here? Good. Um. Move along, Alice. So I can run you in just for being off your nut. You know who I am? How do you know who I am? See, this makes me think even more that this is a voice in her head. If he knows who I am. Wow. Talk about brutal police. They're definitely not very nice around here. Theophilus or something? Let me see here. Theophilus Everett Horton. Clockmaker. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, kitty. Come here, puss, puss, puss. Where are you going? What the hell? I don't know if someone's being raped or killed right now. Maybe a little bit of both. This place is awful. Now we'll check out that cat in a bit. It's over now, here. Where has that cat gone? Alice, I know exactly where the cat's gone. I wanted to check out this alley. What's with these bones? It's either a horse or some random dinosaur. Who knows? All living things die, eventually. Still, a creature's remains are always poignant. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, that was probably purveyors back there. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> bloody lousy pence. I'm working all fucking day. Been bloody working? No, you ain't. I bloody saw you yesterday. Saw you down the road. With who? Saw you with her, didn't I? Madam Bloody Lady Tutu with her skirt up and you her hand up there. Saw it. No, you fucking wow. didn't, you stupid cat. I saw it. Don't you talk to me like that. I saw it. What are you fucking going on about? Get your face out of mine. I don't want to see you. I've been working. Listen here. I know you ain't been working because I saw you down bloody old house. You do it every bloody day. Saw you this morning as well and I shut your mouth. Fuck off, you stupid fucking cunt. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is a little bit, um... A little bit worse than the, the first game's darkness, if you ask me. 
It's got a little bit something more to it. A little bit more depressing, a little bit darker. And I haven't even found Wonderland yet. Like a real job, no changing nappies. Better than being a dog's body for orphan, you can make someone happy. Save the world, ten minutes at a time. Is he asking me to be a hooker? Jeez. Rather forward there, sir. The elephant's elbow. I never knew that elephants liked alcohol. That is news to me. Sounds like there's some awfully big machines over this way. What is that? The squid and fox. Okay. Interesting. Apparently that's a place that I should be at with someone named Squid. Is there someone out there who's a Let's Player named Squid? Because that totally says that I should be talking to you right now, whoever you are. And I guess it's just like a random woman in a bottle. I was hoping for some words, but nothing. This guy looks awfully still. Kind of dead, actually. Excuse me, sir. You look like a discerning gent. Alright! Fuck you then! You can't fucking afford it anyway! Wow. Dead Man's Cross. Hmm. Kitty! Where the hell are you going? Jeez. Just like my own cat, you know, you go up to pet them and then they just run away from you and then when you're least expecting it, they come back and they just kind of circle around your legs and they're like, pet me, pet me. And then by the time that you pet them, they're like, no, I want to leave Seems again. following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. I hope not either, Alice. That could be uh, a very bad vice for you. Considering that uh, these dark holes with the uh, voices that we've heard before could contain some rather unsavory characters. We wouldn't want that for you at all. Those eyes really are pretty stunning. What the hell? It's like a Jabberwock head or something. The stars and garters, Alice Little. It's slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. I wouldn't really trust Still her, Alice. Nice. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bombay won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Her to say, all died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Keep. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she kind of remember her name? What I heard. Okay, so she's blackmailing Alice, and Alice didn't really even do anything. I knew I didn't really like the uh, look of this old lady. She's rather 
creepy. Kind of nasty. But she takes care of pigeons. I don't like pigeon people. A coop is really just a cage, but the birds don't seem to mind. No, that's because the birds are pretty stupid. They have no idea what's going on. Have you ever heard the uh, saying, bird brain? There's a reason for that. What we got going here? Wow. That is quite the view. I can start hearing the uh, Chim Chim Charu song right now. Let's let's get out of here before that starts up because um, I am not into those dance numbers. I was never a big Most fan witness, of those. Do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I have a first you could photograph. Need a drink. Your mouth needs washing. a familiar look. Alice is definitely a little bit out of it, if you ask me. Just a little bit. Those boots are pretty epic. I don't know if I prefer her with the short hair or the long hair, but she looks good either way. The bloody dress is a little Very bit weird, upsetting though. Journey, but I'm rid of Pris or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time, too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. <laughs> you're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. Man, Cheshire looks huge. I don't know if that was just the angle, but he looked as big as Alice. That was pretty crazy. Wow, this place looks absolutely gorgeous. If it wasn't so violent and evil, this place would be a nice place to stay. I like that little skull bow. That's pretty cool. Is that like a rock or a snail? Can't tell. Looks like a giant marble there. So it's like I'm already small or something because there's all these giant things around me. So anyway, um, I already know about the the whole jumping system in this. You actually get the ability to uh, to float um, a little later on, but you can do these twirl jumps at the moment. Um, once you do get the ability to float, I believe it allows you to um, do a little bit of a triple jump almost. Which is kind of nice. It's like a cow thing with wings. <laughs> That's a pretty weird bird. Weird bird. Very strange bird. Yeah, there's like dice and marbles and dominoes everywhere. And random children laughing, apparently. What do we have here? You're part frog, Alice, I swear. You jump so well. Damn right I do. I can even double jump right now. Which is awesome. Actually, it's more of a twirl jump, but it's still pretty cool. Got anything good over here? 
Just a waterfall. So I'm guessing that this waterfall here is slightly coming from the tears of that statue up there. Alice sure has an interesting mind. Yeah, press spacebar to jump. I haven't been doing that at all, game. You haven't haven't noticed that? Got some dominoes setting themselves up for me. Well, before I go there, is there anything over here? Nope. Apparently not. I do not guarantee that I'm going to find everything in this game, especially since um, at some point in this chapter I will be doing this blind from that point on, so uh, yeah. I definitely don't know everything there is to know about this game. I do know about that twirl already though. If that wasn't such a sad looking statue, that would be a pretty cool looking statue from the uh, way that it's able to get the water going down there. Uh huh. Alright, well, let's do some jumps on these dominoes. Watch it. I don't want to fall off there. Hello, Mr. Snail. What are you up to? Kind of snaking around on that rock? I like the little jump animation that she's got going on. Looks pretty neat. Kind of want to check down here. Have I been down there? I don't think I have. No, that's like the second waterfall. I think I'm going to go down here. Oh, it gives you little stairs. It's kind of cool. But is there anything down here worth finding? Hmm. Looking like the answer is probably going to be no. Oh well. Back up on the domino as we go. Or not. Let's try that again. Alright. Guess we'll just get across here and see what else this Wonderland has to offer. Ah, another memory. If you leap from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. Well, at least we knew that her parents cared about her, unlike the rest of the world out there. Or at least they seem to have cared about her. These mushrooms almost look like they were designed as checkerboards. Interesting. What we got here? Bouncy mushroom. Cool. Anything else down here before I go? Those almost look like eye mushrooms. This place is gorgeous. I can sit here all day long just looking at all this. Whoever did the art in this is amazing. I applaud it for sure. What we got here? Amanita muscaria, Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool. A spongy consistency, but poisonous. I see. So is that supposed to be that, or something else? Can I go through here? Can I, like, crawl or something? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that, if anything. There's another one of them. Hmm. I guess we shall find out. What do we have down here? Hey! I was trying to look at that. 